You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. Hillary, other than power, cash, and Harvey Weinstein, and your own sexual predator husband, what the hell do you stand for? You're all losers, sore losers, stupid losers, too dumb to even know that you're losing. Enter a new phase of the Trump presidency amidst the outrageous, outlandish, left wing, chaotic mob behavior of socialist Democrats. American momentum is now around winning the winning that outsider candidate Donald Trump promised us, not the anarchy Democrats, aka demon rats, want to impose on us. The tactics of these demon rats and Trump-hating leftists are backfiring. Americans are now buying into and choosing results over politically correct losing behavior of other presidents. When the New York Times, Brett Stevens, and the Wall Street Journal's Peggy Noonan both dug in Trump haters, say Senate Democrats not only overplayed their hand, but that Democrats are blowing it, you know they sense what's coming. And it's not the blue wave that the genius pundits predicted. They know they lost, not just the Kavanaugh fight, but the American people along the way. Americans don't like lies, injustice, and they certainly don't like vigilante or mob justice. The insanity that we witnessed by those suffering from Trump derangement syndrome is both shocking and unprecedented. From being tossed out of restaurants to being directed to harass, intimidate, confront, and make a crowd around anyone they don't agree with, they ramped it up even more during the Kavanaugh hearings, screaming, interrupting, shouting down senators, blocking them from voting, and that are attempting to block them from voting, and then in their feigned loser outrage, they claw on the doors of the United States Supreme Court as Kavanaugh is being sworn in. Americans are fair, and they've had enough. According to Real Clear Politics, Republican senators in key states have dramatically turned things around. Cruz, Blackburn, Heller, McSally, and demon rat Cory Booker, who is now the laughingstock of the Senate after likening himself to Spartacus, fell flat off his chariot. And they justify their behavior. You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. Hillary, other than power, cash, and Harvey Weinstein, and your own sexual predator ha husband, what the hell do you stand for? And take a listen to this one. But Michelle Witt says that, you know, when they go low, we go high. No. No. When they go low, we kick them. That's what, that's what this new Democratic Party is about. Really, Eric? You, a former Attorney General of the United States, condone violence? Someone who thinks beliefs and words justify physical assault? Did you even go to law school? Look, here's the bottom line. We're not even two years into Trump's presidency. The economy, record high. Unemployment, record low. Under President Trump, 
Americans saved $3.2 trillion in taxes. 3.3 million jobs have been created. The military is being rebuilt. 120 federal judges have been appointed. Two United States Supreme Court justices. A much improved trade deal for the U.S. with Canada and Mexico. The stock market has hit historic highs 80 times. 81,000 illegal aliens have been deported by ICE. 15 hostages have been brought home from countries like North Korea, Iran, Venezuela, and of course, just today, Pastor Andrew Brunson from Turkey. So to all those Trump-hating demon rats and the mainstream media, keep up the antics. You're all losers, sore losers, stupid losers, too dumb to even know that you're losing. He said it himself just a few minutes ago in Kentucky. The only reason to vote Democrat is if you're tired of winning. I don't know about you, but I'm not tired yet.